Dogs. How nice. Just a regular storm drain. I can't stick my hand in there. The gaps are too narrow. And for some reason, the lid won't budge. Mm, a very good morning to you. Buongiorno, signorina. Allow me to introduce myself. Alessandro Rossi. Nina Kalinkov. Pleased to meet you. What is a good-looking Italian doing at an intersection in Paris? I am waiting for the bus. Oh, don't you have a car? Yes, of course. It is over there. Oh, the red sports car? Yes. Are you impressed? Well, yes, a little. So why are you waiting for the bus? I am supposed to meet some friends here in their van. They don't know their way around Paris, so we want to go on together from here. The signs here are rather misleading, so most people take a wrong turn at this point. Why don't you come with us? There is always room in a my sports car. Oh, yes. Why not? Oh, no, wait. I'm afraid I can't. There are some important things I must see to. Too bad. But I will be here for a few more minutes in case you change your mind. Just let me know. You would miss out on a lot. This question may sound somewhat strange, but I don't suppose you've noticed a blue stone that was used for rebuilding any of the buildings around here? You are right. That question does sound strange. However, even if there were a blue stone around here somewhere, I probably wouldn't have noticed. <sighs> I was afraid of that. I've got to go. Too bad. A racy Italian sports car. It's got a pretty horse on its hood. And a not-so-pretty scratch. The car is secured by an alarm. I'm sure it will go off at the slightest touch. And since I'm the only one around here, I might actually get suspected. The clock has stopped. I admire the power of nature to reclaim its own. There's no water in it. It's a long time since anything was sold here. I don't really want to know just how old this bubblegum is. At least you're supposed to insert Euro cents. There was a time when five cents bought you a whole pack of gum. Now that's not even enough for one piece. The ceiling is painted. Impossible to see whether it contains one of the blue stones or not. The paint is peeling anyway. Maybe I'll be able to somehow remove it completely. This clockwork belongs to the clock that hangs on the outside wall of the metro station. I think I will switch on the fountain. Mm, nothing happened. Not altogether surprising, since there's no water in the fountain. I had better switch that fountain off. I will try to get this clock up and running again. 
Hmm, the mechanism appears to be out of order. I bet it will stop again in a moment. This umbrella is so full of holes that it wouldn't keep the street cleaner dry for a minute. I like teddy bears, but this one looks awfully mean and grumpy. And it smells like a polecat. A somewhat battered umbrella with a very sharp point. It might still be of some use as a walking stick. A pacifier. It's hardly a fortune, but with the right investment strategy, who knows? An old wooden stick. A candle burned down halfway. Whatever's in there, I'm not touching it. In fact, that option isn't even available, so don't get any funny ideas. The President of France, with a dashing debonair smile. MGs, hand grenades, submachine guns, and plenty of ammo. Looks like this isn't the most peaceful of places. A lot of advice to citizens, telling them how to behave in the event of problems, accidents, emergencies, assaults, disasters. Things are pretty quiet here. Yes, I am hoping it stays that way. The cell is locked, and there's no way of getting in without a key. A drunk tank. It is empty, and there appears to be nothing special about it. A drunk tank. And back there, in the wall, is one of the stones I am looking for, if I'm not mistaken. Hello, I've got a question. Yes? That cell over there, the one on the right, could I take a look inside it? The drunk tank? What for? You are not drunk, are you? Um, I, uh, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Well, why don't you just think it over? Uh, yes, I'll do that. Hello, I've got a question. Yes? That said- The doll tank? Yeah, I'm totally smashed. Really? Let me smell your breath then. Well, maybe you ought to change your mouthwash, but you're definitely not drunk. Hello, I've got- Yes? That's- The doll? Not that I'm aware of. See? So why should I put you in a long tank? Because, uh... Hmm. I'm glad we were able to talk about this. If I take any weapons out, I may end up having to play one of those monotonous shoot 'em ups which would bore me to tears. Anyway, the lead designer told me that mini-games are strictly forbidden here.
I'll take this sign with me. If this game doesn't sell, then at least I will know where to look for a new job. Not a bad idea. I place the candle on the minute hand and wind up the clock. As the hand moves, the candle will slide off at some point, hit the car, and trigger the alarm. I only need to make sure that I have an alibi for when it happens. The clock has stopped. A devilish plan which may cost me a lot of sympathy. If this were a computer game, it would probably be banned for being too violent. Unfortunately, though, this is not a game, but bitter reality. I'm on a mission to save the world, and a different set of laws applies for world saviors. So, here I go. Hello, are you still waiting? Yes. I, I hope my friends did not get lost. What? But that is... My car! Stop! Wait! You're going the wrong way! You need to turn here! Stop! Ah, oh, no! I'm completely soaked now! That's what they call a chain reaction. It is a disaster. Like my entire life, a total disaster. Is it really so terrible that you missed your friends? Don't you think they'll find the right way anyway? Yes, maybe. But it is a matter of principle. I can't do anything right. Everything keeps going wrong. Cheer up. There will be better days. I have been waiting in vain for years. Please excuse me. I need a few minutes to myself. Oh my, he's really down in the dumps. I should follow him and make sure he does nothing rash. After all, I'm responsible for his mood to some degree. Phew, I had been worried he might do something foolish. Oh, quaint. Hmm, thanks. I don't need a bath right now. I have no idea who this is supposed to be, and there's no plaque to give me a clue. Oh, he looks pretty depressed. Hello, everything okay? I'm really worried about you. Oh, uh, hello. Yes, it's really not my day today. First I scratch up my car and then I miss my appointment. They're probably halfway to Spain by now. Oh. oh, I'm afraid that I may be responsible for the missed appointment. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything that might cheer you up? That is very kind of you. But I've been chasing Lady Luck for years now. She is simply too fast for me. You cannot change fate. And that is that. The poor guy is totally dejected. Nina, you need to think of something quick, or you'll end up only being offered roles as a movie villain. If I go away now and promise to come back soon, will you promise not to do anything stupid while I'm gone? Sure, I wouldn't even have the energy. I'm supposed to steal from a homeless man? As long as he can still use them, I will certainly not take them away from him. Hello again. Dropping by my humble abode? You live here? Well, 
it's not exactly the Ritz, but at least it's quiet, unless somebody hangs around whining. What happened to the poor fellow? He missed the bus. Now that is truly a tragedy. You sure drink a lot. Yes, I know. I take it you have never lived on the streets. No, not really. It's a simple decision. Solid food gives you a lot more energy, of course. But energy for what? Nobody expects me to have enough energy to build a house or fix my car. And I don't have a job either. So I don't really need any energy for anything. What I really need, on the other hand, is a way to forget all this misery. At least for a while. And I need something to keep me warm when the nights are cold. I understand. No, you don't. And I can't even blame you for that. It is really hard to comprehend if you have never been in a similar situation. Won't you at least try to escape this vicious circle? How would I do that? You could quit drinking, for one thing. And I could see about finding you something to eat. I tried that. But it seems people would rather feed pigeons than their own kind. I get it. The world is wicked and nobody loves you. If I get you something to eat, will you stop drinking? Then I could use my money to find myself a place to sleep. It's a deal. That fountain over there? Let me guess. You tossed in some money in hopes that all your problems will solve themselves. No. Why would I do that? Oh, just a thought. Because tourists used to do it all the time. They threw their money into the fountain? Yes. They say it possesses magic powers. They say the same thing about some high-proof spirits. <laughs> yes, but believe me, there's no truth in that, either.